Hello, my name is Josh Hintz and I am back again with another little experiment that I've been working on. Right now what I have is I have the Atmel. This is an AT, I think it's a 324P Atmel, AEVAR. Um, it has 32K flash ROM that we can actually program and it has, I don't know, lots of different little IOs. The reason why I've actually gone to this chip instead of the previous one I was on is that there's a lot more IO pins. Uh, what we also have here is a Mach XO64 or 256 CPLD chip and I made this little custom board here so that we can kind of export all these pins and play with it. So this is running CPLD, we can write Verilog code to do lots of fun little things, lots of I.O. And then in between here that's kind of buried underneath all these wires is a 32K SRAM. So what we're trying to do now with this experiment is we're going to be drawing NTSC video and our CPLD is going to be acting like our GPU in this case. Um, and then we have the 32K SRAM as a frame buffer. We also have a 6 times NTSC crystal clock right there that's feeding into our CPLD. Um, and so the whole idea is that we're going to be generating video with the CPLD and it's going to be reading out of this SRAM like a frame buffer of what it wants to draw. So now on boot up, the Atmel is going to actually hold the CPLD in reset and it's going to go ahead and just kind of program and kind of blank the SRAM, just fill it up and then it's going to start um, allowing the CPU, CP, the GPU, the CPLD to run and during its time running it's going to pull uh, each byte from the SRAM and then draw it on the TV and then during vertical sync the, the Atmel will know that the vertical sync is going on and it will actually start drawing different stuff. And then what I have over here is I have a Pico edition with the SX processor just yanked out and I've got some wires going into our R2R ladder so that we can actually just be have a nice little connector into the TV like so. So here it is and then we got on screen kind of our color little pattern right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit reset so we're going to fill up the thing and then we're going to see this line drawing kind of going on here as well and it's just going to keep on going around and filling up our screen and making kind of a little cool pattern and then each time it hits a corner it's going to actually change color um, like so and once it's done repeating it just kind of keeps on going around and filling up the screen and so so yeah that's just a simple little thing that we've got going on